Social media posts showing her posing with a gun and a racist sign went viral. However, the Hillcrest High School student will not face charges. 7 News' Kirsten Glavin talked to officers about why and joins us live tonight in Simpsonville. Kirsten, we understand there are some parents who aren't happy to hear there won't be charges. Tell us about that. No, they are not, but we are told that Simpsonville police did add extra patrols today to Hillcrest High School to ensure safety and try to put a lot of these concerns at ease. A student at Hillcrest High School has been suspended and is now recommended for expulsion after the Greenville County School District says they were alerted to a racist photograph of the girls circulating among students and online. The disciplinary action comes after Simpsonville police say they found no criminal wrongdoing in their investigation, prompting pushback from parents. She threatened people. And when you threaten people in that situation, there are things that should be done to make sure that those people are safe. We took these questions to the Simpsonville Police Department Wednesday. According to Captain Cheryl Manley, investigators were able to question the student Tuesday and found no credible threat or indication that she was going to carry out actions to harm anyone. She says these cases depend heavily on context and if they can identify a clear intent to commit a crime. It goes against um, what people think is, is right. It goes against people's beliefs. Um, and be it inappropriate, and it's not illegal because of the freedom of speech. The photo appears to show the student holding a sign that says, We hang N words for free. And in the other hand is a gun. The Greenville NAACP in a statement Wednesday called for expulsion due to the district's zero tolerance policy. Simpsonville police added extra patrols at Hillcrest High School Wednesday as a precaution. That's our biggest concern is the safety of the staff and the students at Hillcrest High School. And that's what we're mainly focused on in a case like this when that kind of social media post is put out there. And while the Simpsonville Police Department is wrapping up their investigation, they do tell us that the Greenville County Sheriff's Office and the Fountain Inn Police Department have their own independent investigations into this ongoing. The Greenville County School District is also looking into the matter and has their own investigation as well. Reporting live in Simpsonville tonight, Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. So Kirsten, tell us more about the expulsion process and how long that could take. Well, normally when it comes to expulsion, we're told that the Thursday after a student is suspended, there will be a hearing discussing what the expulsion is about. But in this case, we're told it may take longer than the Thursday after, which would be tomorrow. It's uncertain when they'll have that hearing. All right, Kirsten Blavin live in Simpsonville tonight. Thank you, Kirsten.